Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we are going to be playing through a little bit of a family storyline, a little bit of a single parent storyline. I have my Sim here, her name is Shannon, and she lives in an apartment in San Myshuno with her two little kiddies. I don't know where the father is, Shannon didn't want to explain, I guess he just did a runner. And today we're going to find out how easy is it to really balance being a mum and having a thriving career. So my sim, Shannon, already has a job, although she is still entry level. She works in social media, she is a media intern. We have an infant son called Nathan, who's a little bit of a fuss pot it seems. And we also have a toddler daughter called Nora. This is Nora's room, Nathan kips with us because we don't really, we're not really blessed for space and we're not really blessed in the bank account department either. We have enough money to pay the bills this week, but you know, we don't exactly have like daycare cash. And I know The Sims 4 doesn't charge you for daycare, but guys, use your imagination. So basically, what I want to find out is... How, how manageable is it for a sim to progress in her career? Obviously, we're going to have to work from home every day. We can't afford the childcare. Can we still get a few promotions? Can we climb the career ladder? Or is it just too much for a single parent? We'll probably play through about a week with this family just to see how it goes. Or maybe not quite a week. Maybe we'll do it Sunday now. So maybe we'll work Monday to Friday and see where we are in our career on Friday. This is an adorable little apartment. It's kind of 50-50, I am, um, it's sort of made by someone else, sort of not. I saw this apartment on Sim Lissy's channel and went to download it for myself. So most of this, like the whole um, structure was built by her. However, because it was a CC build, a lot of the stuff that was in it, like when I placed it down, it was just like bare walls and empty rooms. So I'm gonna say it was a 50-50 effort. It's Sim Lissy's build, but if you place it in your game, it won't look anything like this because I pretty much furnished the whole thing because I just couldn't be asked to download all of the custom content she, she had in her build. But if you think the layout of this apartment is adorable, then I can't take credit for that. Oh, Welcome Wagon is here. You know what? I'm actually not going to snub the Welcome Wagon today because I don't think we're going to get many opportunities to meet people. Um can't really leave the kids home alone. So, oh, did that baby just throw up on, on our shoulder? Gross. So I kind of want to make the most of people coming to me because that way if I have to like do anything to socialize, then I'll have some Sims in my phone book at least. And you know, that fruitcake probably, we don't want it to go to waste. We'll take the fruitcake. Ah, oh, Akira. Baby daddy number two, perhaps. So I picked the social media career because I haven't really played through that career much and it seems like quite a fun one. I had to choose a job that I knew we could work from home doing. And I think for this one we basically just need our computer because we're really not blessed for space. So I had to be careful not to choose a career that would need me to have like, I don't know, a chess table or fitness equipment. And I'm pretty sure for my social media job, all I need is my laptop here and our phone. So it shouldn't be too difficult. In fact, our work from home assignment is just to create a social media profile. So you know what, I might just do that while it's a bit quiet. And that might get me a, a head start. Create social media profile. Oh, also, I sort of felt like I didn't really need to disclose this anymore because um, I did this months ago and have been using it like this ever since, but I am using like the Sims 2 career progression, meaning that I've used MC Command Center to enable me to essentially get a promotion every day, provided I do everything that's required for a promotion. Not really making any secret about that, I just think the Sims 4 career progression is just pointlessly slow. So yeah, if we manage to get everything done, which I sort of feel like is a bit of a challenge in and of itself, but if we do manage to get everything we need done in a day, then we should be eligible for a promotion every day. Okay, Nathan, you are asleep, but how are your needs? You need to take a shit. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. That's kind of within your control there, Nathan. Oh, I wonder if I could probably... Just realized I didn't place a bin next to my changing mat, but I probably could squeeze one in. Annoyingly, it has to go that way. I don't know why I can't just put it on the side, but there we go. That's fine, we've got a bin. This is our living room, kind of kind of cluttered, but you know what? That's how we like it. It's quite cute, I think, actually, having all the toys scattered around on the floor. You know, it's a family home, it's lived in. 
Right, guys, I'm not trying to be rude, but I did end the welcome wagon already. You're sort of overstaying your welcome. Send home. I'll call you when I need you guys. Do you know what I don't even know? I don't even know if you can get a promotion whilst working from home. I don't see why not. There shouldn't be any reason why not. But, I mean, that would be a bit of a stumbling block if, if you can't. Are we having story time? How is Nora doing? Oh, her needs are fine. Her needs are fine. I'm pretty sure we have a potty as well. I should have made her independent. But she's a charmer instead. But I'm, I might just take this opportunity to potty train Nora. So I think she only needs one skill point in potty training to be able to take herself. I just want to try and do what I can on my day off to try and minimise the chances of being, like, disrupted too much during work. I've already shot myself in the vagina by having an infant, which are the worst. So let's just try and make life as easy as possible with the toddler. Let's try and get you independent, Nora. I wonder how much my bills are. I, I, I know I... I I just don't understand it. I'm such a dipshit. What does it mean? I'm going to be charged 20 pounds or 20 simoleons 40 per day. Is that what that means? I just can't make much sense out of these bills. Well, you know what? There's no point both of us wasting time. I may, we may as well take a shit while, while Nora's doing her deed as well. May as well. Why not? There we go. Show her how it's done. All right, getting a little bit hungry. We are fresh out of cast, so we have, like, fuck all skills. So I think what we'll do is we'll start by ser serving just a simple salad. That's probably about all we can manage right now, so... Good opportunity in our downtime to try and build some of our mum skills as well. How's the baby? Oh, he's fine. He's fine. I feel a bit bad for the infant, because I don't really have that much space in the flat to you know, have much toddler stuff for him. I do have one of those little play mats in my inventory, so I can get it out as and when needed, but I don't know, I might have to go in the, the toddler's room. I just don't have that much space. Who knows, maybe by the end of the week we might be able to upgrade. Oh, look at the little toddler there, talking, chatting some bollocks, bless her. Oh, okay, you're not gonna get a serving for the, for the child, fine. I guess I will get the kid to do it herself, grab a serving. Maybe stick some cartoons on, watch the kids' network, there we go. And then stick leftovers in the fridge, perfect. Alright, let's just watch some cartoons till the kid gets a bit tired. The infant is still doing okay. I think probably he's going to need a diaper change because his bladder was low, but it's full now. He's just a bit hungry. So I guess we'll just go feed him and then maybe change his diaper. Infants can be a real handful, especially for new parents. I specialise in childcare and I've helped young families... I just, I'd love to, that's a real nice offer, but I don't, I can't accommodate you. Not unless you want a spoon with me, which I personally would find a bit weird, so I'm going to have to say no thanks. He doesn't even seem like he's got a dirty diaper, but he must do. I didn't cheat his needs or anything. He must have shat himself, so we will, we'll change his diaper after this. Oh, that kid is just always throwing up. He's such a sicky baby. And he's smiling about it as well, he's proud. Some babies are just smug like that. You know, you could see it in their face. They know what they're doing. Oh, we just became good friends with Nathan. That's cute. Okay, well, Nathan doesn't need anything else, so I'm going to put Nathan to sleep. Just get him to doze off. A little bit of whiskey in the gums. Whenever you're ready. Shannon, whenever you're ready. Shannon. Fucking hell. Okay, that's one baby down. Check on the other one. Okay, your needs are all good. You've got a filthy plate there. Maybe I'll stick that in the sink. And then we will, um, we'll put Nora to bed now as well. Oh, he's kicking up a fuss. Quickly, walk away. Walk away. Let himself soothe. Okay, baby number two. We cannot get pregnant in this Let's Play. I have no intention of getting pregnant, but I'm just letting you know, Shannon, you cannot get pregnant. We are crammed for space as it is. Okay, the Litlands are asleep or going to sleep. It's still early, seven o'clock. I think maybe we can watch some TV, have a bit of fun of our own. And then maybe take ourselves to bed. Oh, we just became good friends with both our kids as well. That's cute. Right, now we can watch our programmes. Stick a little bit of Maury Povich on. Watch grown-up TV. What time do we have work? 9am. Okay, that's fine. Respectable time. Nora hates bedtime. That's fucking brilliant. Okay, so she's got herself out of bed. That is just great. You know what, Nora? We're not playing this game. Put Nora to bed again. The more you keep getting up, the more I will put you to bed. Come on. I remember... When I was at my um, my parents' house, there would always be, like, nanny TV shows on. Or, like, you know, how to take care of unruly children TV shows on. And um, 
it kind of reminded me of like Caesar Milan's dog training. I think I know South Park made an episode about it, but it was like when children get up from the middle of the night from their bed, don't look at them, don't speak to them, just pick them up, put them back into bed. Kind of reminded me of dog training. The child is just lucky to have a home. Okay, our fun is full, so we can go to bed now too. And hopefully, oh, look at that, my little precious, he's fast asleep. My other little precious, oh, that one's fast asleep as well. Stellar job, absolute stellar job there. Shannon, keep forgetting your name. Okay, that was good, that was good. Day one, routine, fantastic. Got a little bit of mum time. Infant's woken up. He's got no need to be though, because he's absolutely fine. So go night night again, son. Okay, I know, you're awake and pissed off. Okay, let's feed the baby, because I think he is quite hungry. Oh, he's cooed. Okay, his needs are okay. He's just hungry, might need to take a shit soon, but that's fine, we'll feed the baby. Is the toddler okay? Oh, toddler is fine, absolutely fine. Okay, so we want to try and get everyone's needs happy before we start work at nine. I am thinking, where can I put him while I'm working? This playmat is just like such an inconvenient size, isn't it? I mean, I guess I could shift this stuff to the right slightly. And then if I, if I put his mat there, then people can still walk around him. Okay, that's probably the best way of doing it. Put Nathan down there. And then Nathan should be pretty happy. What I'll do is I'll put him on his little mat. I'll make breakfast for me, the toddler. We'll take a shower. And then by that point, Nathan probably will have shit his pants. And then we can change him and hopefully start work at nine with everybody happy. Like a military operation. Serve breakfast, fruit salad, keep it simple. We're not going to pretend we're Gordon Ramsay. We're pretty realistic about our abilities. But that's fine because we're a good mum, aren't we? Oh, that toddler might need a bath as well. Oh, too late. Nathan's already shit himself. Okay, I'll be with you in a minute, Nath. Just hold it together. Okay, we will grab a bowl for ourselves. We'll stick that on the table, and then I'm going to wake the toddler up and get her to grab a serving. And then, Shannon, you have eaten, so you can just take a shit, take a bath. There we go. Perfect. So we're filling our needs. Toddler's got a bowl of fruit salad, so I'll stick that in the fridge. Ah, oh, like clockwork. This is what we like to see. And it's still only 6 a.m. We still have a few hours before we even have to go to work. So once you get out the bath, we will we'll change Nathan's diaper. Why is it asking about Nora's? Does she, does she need a diaper change as well? Well, we'll just give Nora a bath and then that'll take care of that. Okay, wake up, Nathan. Kid's just rifling through the cupboards. Yeah, sure, you knock yourself out. Keep yourself occupied. Oh, okay, the playmat's just not working out. It's too much of a hassle. We can't pick the baby up. That's fine. That's fine. We'll just work around it. Let's go change the baby's nappy. And now Nathan should be happy, which he is. Perfect. Oh, this is why I hate infants. You give a parent a command and they just stand there. Go and put the baby down. Stop being annoying. Okay, we will work from home. So instead of putting the baby down over there, you decided to put... Okay, do you know what? Just put Nathan in his crib. That's too much to ask. We have work in 40 minutes, so we better quickly give a bath to Nora. I think Nathan was getting a little bit fussy anyway. He's gone to sleep. I mean, technically, we're supposed to start work in two minutes. I need to become focused and level up my charisma skill. Okay, I think I can do that. Oh, we are inspired from adoring someone nearby. That's cute. Right, okay, Nora, you do your own thing. I am going to browse Simpedia. Just leave the trash for now. Browse Simpedia. That should get us in a focused mood. And then, I mean, pretty easy task, really. Level up charisma. I think there is going to be a requirement further down the line um, for loads of, like, social media followers. So I will have to... Maybe I'll do a few social media posts. Oh, we are focused, but not focused enough to overpower our inspired mood buff. Okay, fine. Well, let's just go practice speech until our inspired mood buff runs out and then hopefully we'll get the tick for being focused. Oh, Nathan's getting a bit hungry. Okay, we'll level up our charisma and then we'll feed the baby. Acquired the charisma skill. Okay, good. Oh, we finally got the focused tick. Okay, let's just go um, wake up Nathan quickly just so we can feed him and then we'll get back to our charisma skill. 
We have a few hours to play with to achieve that skill, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Nathan, wake up. Let's just do a quick feed. I'm guessing the toddler is okay. Yep, yeah, she's absolutely fine. Why don't you go and play with some of your toys? Have a sim do nothing social for 24 sim hours. Uh, not sure that's quite the case, but okay. Okay, and then we'll just put Nathan down and we'll go back to practicing speech. Day one is going to be productive, I am determined. Although we are building this skill quite slowly, which is surprising considering it's only level two. I wonder if my work from home assignment means that I have to do it by three. Oh, there we go, level up charisma. You know what though, even though I've done everything I'm supposed to, I haven't seen an increase in my performance. All right, well, we finished work for the day, so that's something at least. Let's go and grab some leftovers. Actually, can I, um, is the toddler hungry? If I just put some salad there, then I can grab a serving. Nora can grab a serving. And then it looks like she kind of needs a nap. Oh, she's got kind of low attention though. Maybe after we eat, we'll just play with her for a little bit. I know Nathan's crying, but poor Nora just hasn't been getting enough attention because of Nathan being like the more needy one. So maybe we'll just do a few little snuggles, family kiss, and then we'll put Nora to bed, or maybe we'll read Nora to sleep. Nathan's a bit hungry and might need a wash, and also we have a problem with the fuse box. All right, chill out, chill out. And then maybe we can take a shit, and then I guess we're gonna have to fix this ourselves. I mean, I could call the landlord, but... We're sort of, you know, independent woman. We're managing a household, raising two kids single-handedly, holding down a job. If we can do all that, then we can fix a fuse box. So let's just get it fixed. I'm sure we can figure it out. Oh, there we go. Beautifully done. Okay, but now we are a bit tired, so maybe we'll just go and get an early night. Ah, oh, our first day of work done. That was a very productive Monday, I think. It is currently 3 a.m. We have a problem in the bathroom. There's some kind of smell going on, so I guess I'm gonna try and attempt to repair that, I suppose. Attempt to repair. We are pretty happy though. Our needs are really good. Um, oh, the baby is gonna need feeding and a nappy change at some point. Nora desperately needs a bath, although she did only have a bath like less than 24 hours ago. Okay, are we done? Right, Nora, I'm gonna wake you up. And then before we deal with Nathan, we're gonna give Nora a bubble bath just to get her cleaned up. And then that way that's two out of three Sims that have good needs. Put some fruit salad in her inventory so she can eat something once she's been washed. And then we can see what the deal is with the baby. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna potty train Nora before I give her some food. And then maybe Nora, while you do that, we'll mop up this puddle. I think the baby might need feeding, so we'll just go and breastfeed. I'm guessing that's your issue. Yeah, hunger is your issue. Other than that, you're fine. So we will breastfeed the baby, and then we'll change his diaper as well. And then he'll be all happy. Take a shit, take a shower, or take a shit, take a bath. Oh, clean out this. And then we'll be ready, and then we'll be ready for work. All of our needs fully filled. Do you know what? This has actually been, even though we've constantly had to stay on top of it to make sure the kids are okay, this has been really calm. I haven't felt myself getting stressed, which, you know, when it comes to Sims children, specifically infants, Shannon's boss was happy with the work she did, okay. Yeah, specifically with Sims children, um, I just haven't felt stressed at all. And look at that, it looks like we actually might get a promotion. Our performance has changed to excellent. Well, while the kiddies are happy, I'm going to work on my charisma. Uh, I might send the toddler for a little nap. She's getting a little bit low in the energy department. Oh shit, we've nearly got our next charisma skill. And then we just have to watch funny videos on sim.tv for two hours. Okay, I guess that's part of our market research, I suppose. But we'll stop for lunch beforehand. Um, I might serve some BLTs, because I think the food we already have in the fridge is probably starting to go bad. We haven't served any, we didn't serve any food all day yesterday, so we'll serve something today just to get some food in the fridge for the baby. Charisma level three, beautiful. That's been ticked off nicely. Okay, we got some food. Energy's getting 
probably near the yellow, but that's fine. Watch funny videos on Sim TV. We only have to do two hours. So maybe we'll do this for a little bit. I think my infant is getting a bit hungry, but that's fine. Maybe I'll do like half hour now, feed the baby, and then we'll go back to it. Oh, you've unlocked laughing. Good for you. Okay, we'll just do a breastfeed. And other than that, you are fine. Level three of the parenting skill. See, we're just as charismatic as we are good, pe good at parenting. Okay, we have watched one hour of funny... Oh, wait, have we finished now? I guess it doesn't really matter what time we finish. I guess we can just do it until our next shift tomorrow, I guess. Okay, we've spent two hours. Right, what's the deal with you two? How are you guys doing? So you're fine, you're just tired. So you can take yourself to bed. You're fine too, you're just tired. Okay, well, both of you just go to sleep then. And it looks like we're fine as well, just tired. So how about we all just get a super early night? We all deserve it, I think. Sweet dreams, guys. Okay, we have had a long sleep. The baby's hungry, so I'm gonna wake you up and then we are gonna start the day with feeding the baby. But other than hungry, he's pretty chill, he's fine. How's the toddler? She's a bit hungry. Hygiene's sort of getting a bit low. So maybe we will, we'll give Nora a bath. Put Nathan back down, he's chill, he's fine, he's all good. We'll give little Nora a bath and then I'm gonna get some food out so she can grab herself some breakfast. She could have BLT for breakfast. Is that a fucking vermin infestation? Oh, it's just one problem after another in this flat. All right, let's both grab a serving and now we have two more maintenance issues. So let's eradicate those bugs. I hope we get a promotion today. We've worked so hard over these last couple of days. Okay, let's just see where these issues are coming from. So I know that I've got a problem here in the bathroom and I also have vermin here, but I don't know where they are coming from. It looks like they're coming from behind the TV. So let's eradicate them and then we'll take care of this problem in the bathroom. If every single day there's something new that's gone wrong in this place, which is very annoying from like a build point of view, because I'm constantly having to move stuff, especially if you're not blessed for space. But you know, everyone's needs are pretty good. Everybody's happy. Pop that sink back, get the TV back in its place, work from home once again. Shannon's boss was happy with the work she did from home. Oh no, that means we didn't get a promotion. Despite already being into excellent. Now, childcare is of course a luxury, but I'm gonna get a nanny for 10 simoleons an hour because my work from home assignment is going to require me to leave the flat and I don't, I don't really wanna feel like I'm responsible for like anything that happens to these two kiddies if I leave them. So I'm gonna get a nanny round and then we're gonna try and see if we can achieve some of these daily assignments. It's not too hard. Get to know Sims in the spice market and do mischief on five different Sims. Oh, there's my nanny. Okay, fantastic. Right, nanny's here. You kids have fun. Try not to give them a hard time. We're gonna head over to the spice market and do a good day's work. So we'll go to Waterside Warble. So here is the sim in the spice market. So I can get to know you and I can also do a few pranks on you. Oh, I don't think she wanted to get to know me, but that's fine. Trick with hand buzzer. She is a maker, apparently. Oh, she did enjoy my little prank though. Okay, let's try another one. I see some more sims over there that I can go and get to know. How about this one? Oh, I do kind of need the bathroom though, so I might just stick to this sim, Lucia, who's a bit closer. A bit closer by. Okay, we will get to know you, and then we'll also do a couple of little mischief, mischief interactions. Okay, maybe we can finally go and use the bathroom now. Oh, Akira, man, he is going for it. He's singing his absolute heart out. Right, how are we doing? We've done mischief two out of three five times. That doesn't seem right. I feel like I've done mischief loads. Although it says do mischief on five different sims. So that's probably it. I just haven't... I've done it multiple times, but only to two sims. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, well, Moira fires. I can do mischief on you. Can I trick the mixologist? Yes. Okay. Queued up two hand buzzer tricks. And then that will be a job well done for me. And I think I will only be charged for like two or three hours worth of childcare, which is like 30 simoleons. Okay, perfect. 
daily tasks done. Right, let's head home. We'll go and dismiss our nanny now. We can take over. I bet the nanny hasn't filled any of their needs because that's just how it works, I guess. Okay, I am going to dismiss you. How are your needs? Toddler's doing okay. Maybe we could potty train her though. Potty train Nora. Our needs are pretty good. A little bit tired, but other than that, everything's good. And the baby? Yeah, baby's been a little bit neglected. You've just sort of left him on the floor. That's fine. We'll potty train Nora. And then we'll come and feed the baby and put him to bed. Are we squeamish? I think we're going to have to say no. I think we'd be having like mental breakdowns every day if we were. Oh, Nora can now use the potty herself. Great news. Great news. Okay, let's wake Nathan up. I mean, he's pretty happy in every other aspect. We just need to feed him and then put him back to bed. And Nora is pretty happy too. Oh, look, that smell's come back. Shock horror. Another issue for us to fix. Okay, feed the baby and then you can put Nathan to sleep and then he will be perfectly fine. And then maybe we'll just... Why is it not giving me the option to clean this? Let's mop this up. Shit, there's a rat wandering around. There's a literal rat wandering around the apartment. Where did it go? Where is it? Right, I'm gonna put the other baby to sleep before they all get a bit spooked out. There you are, you sneaky little fucker. Okay, so once again, I don't I don't know where the little mouse hole is. Oh, it's over there, okay. And then I may as well move the sink as well because we still have that problem. So we will come and obliterate this, deal with the rat, deal with the smell. And then maybe we will finally be able to fulfill our own needs. Did you fix it? Yeah, okay. And then we'll attempt to repair that. And then I'll just stick all this stuff back together. Just stick all this stuff back where it belongs. You need to go back to bed. All of your other needs are full. You can go back to bed. And then I think we deserve to get some leftovers. Maybe we'll have a bath. Oh, we didn't fix the issue. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to try again then. Oh, it's still not fixed. Okay, just go to bed. We finished it. Good job. Took three attempts, but we got there in the end. This is... Managing this is starting to stress me out now. It was so calm for several days. But do you know what? I don't think it's the kids. Like, it's not managing them. It's just the constant problems with this apartment. Like, it just doesn't let up. It's not normal. Okay, I guess we're going to wake up. Let's give Nathan a bath. I guess we won't be having a full night's sleep, but that's fine. I guess we don't need sleep. Right, Nathan, you are fine. You just need some food and then I can put you back to bed. So we will go breastfeed and then and then put Nathan to sleep. And then that would make that would make him all in the green. What about Nora? Nora, maybe you could take a piece of fruit cake. You can take yourself to the potty now. And then we will take a bath. And then we'll also take a shit. And then Nora... Oh, did you fill your nappy even though you can use the potty yourself? Maybe you can just play with a toy to fill your fun and then you can go to bed. Okay, we're getting pretty happy again. This is going well. And then we'll clean that up. And then I think we, we can take ourselves back to bed. And maybe just try and get a few more hours of peace. There we go. Why are you getting up in the night? Oh, no, another fucking rat. Of course there is. Of course there is. Okay, let's wake up. How is the baby? Okay, his knees are actually fine. But I'm going to move the crib for a minute. I don't know what that's going to do to him. But we'll just come and obliterate the rat. We definitely should have picked a different apartment, honestly. Massively regretting this apartment decision. Okay, so now pick up Nathan and then stand over here. And then I'll put the crib back where it was and we'll just pop him back in he's happy enough he's fine i mean maybe we could feed him oh we got a little we got a little glitch going on oh dear am i gonna have to just reset the baby yeah is he back in his crib now okay baby's fed baby's happy our needs are pretty much all in the green oh dear my toddler needs some more attention though okay i think what i might do is i might just come in here and then like queue up a few things maybe if i put them as playing together the thing is nathan he just doesn't he doesn't like sharing his mum he kicks off every single time we spend time with the other one right there's a few playing interactions so we'll fill up your attention bar and then i will drag this fruitcake out onto the floor and then that way 
As soon as we finish playing, you can grab yourself a piece of cake. Oh, did we just get a promotion? Promoted to engagement monkey. Okay, we will work from home again today. Um, do you need a bath? Um, no, you're kind of okay. I don't know, you're going to need a bath soon though, but maybe we will just grab some leftovers. Have 25 followers, get focused, and level up our writing skill. Okay, that seems fairly straightforward. As long as my babies don't kick off. Okay, I'm going to have you go potty. And then while she takes herself to go potty, um, I am going to... I'm going to queue up a few social media statuses so we can get a few followers. I don't know how many followers we get per post, but I kind of I feel like 25 followers shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, we now have 20 followers in total. Brilliant. And then we will give a bath to Nora... And then that should put her, yeah, that should put her pretty good. All she'll need to do is just get some sleep, which is fine by me. In fact, she seems too angry to be um, having a bath, so I'm just going to send her to bed. And the baby's fine as well, so I'm actually going to use this time to get myself focused. We will browse Simpedia. I don't know if there's any way I'll be able to get focused, though, because I'm so happy about my promotion. But we can still practice writing, maybe. Oh, we did! We got focus! Brilliant! Okay, so now we'll just practice some writing. Might even be able to get an early night's sleep tonight. Although I can hear some dripping and I think it's that. Yeah. Okay, well let's just focus on one thing at a time, okay? Let's just get our writing skill first. I'll keep an eye on the kids' needs. Parenting level four. Smashing it! Okay, Nathan's needs are all in the green, so we can hopefully... Oh, maybe we'll just quickly use the bathroom. We can hopefully go back to finish writing. I know that potty is, like, disgusting, but I want to get my job done before the end of the day today, so the bathroom's just going to have to smell until we finish our shift. I know you're uncomfortable because you're so tired, but all we have to do is get this one skill point and then we're done. I do feel like we're going through career progression at a much slower rate than we would if we were actually going into the office. Okay, well done. You can actually go get some sleep now. Go treat yourself, girl. Yeah, I feel like if we actually went into work every day, probably we would be getting a promotion a lot more frequently. It doesn't really seem to make any difference at all that I've um, that I've used MC Command Center to change it to like The Sims 2 way of getting a promotion. I know our energy isn't totally full, but if I get up now, I can maybe fill up the rest of our needs and then just go back to bed and have less to do when we wake up. Because we do still need to give a bath to Nora as well, because her hygiene is pretty low. Okay, okay. Not quite the morning, but you know what? I think let's go back to bed. We've done everything we need to do. Everything's gone well. We should have a fairly easy morning, although we do still have to fix the dripping in here. But you know what? I'm just going to procrastinate with that. This baby is going to age up today. So I'm kind of glad that we're finishing this today because um, I don't have the space for two toddlers and I don't really know what to do with two toddlers. Just stick the telly on, put on Dateline or something. I wonder if we'll get a promotion. I don't know. Because last time we had, we had ourselves in excellent, but we didn't get a promotion the first time. So maybe it'll still take a couple of days. I don't know. Oh, promoted to clickbait writer. Oh, congratulations. Look at us. Looking after two kids, staying at home, and absolutely thriving. Here is a question, though. Can we get all of this done by the end of the day? I don't know. I don't know. What level comedy are we? Level one. What level mischief are we? Okay, level two. No, wake up. I'm not, I can't have you sleep. I think I might have to go out a little bit today. But what I can do... Let's just check the kids' needs. Okay, she is hungry, but she's also tired. So she can just stay in bed, and then when she wakes up, grab a serving. The baby's fine, so we will go and use the bathroom. We need to get, like, um, a level one in gaming. So I can do that from home. Take a photo at the gym and reach level three mischief. I'd quite like to go to... I'd quite like to do both of those things at the gym. Just to give myself a little bit of a break from the kids, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and hire a service. We will get a nanny as soon as we get our video gaming skill. Okay, video gaming done. Let's see how far we get with our other obje objectives while you are this tired. I don't know how long you're going to stay awake for, but let's see what we can do. I'm amazed we've only had to use the nanny twice, to be honest. 
Okay, let's go to Sky Fitness, our local gym. Right, let me pause this for a second and, and try and make the most out of my time. Take a photo at a gym. Let's get inside the gym first. So maybe what we'll do is we will we'll take a selfie and then I'm also going to queue up a few social media statuses. I think it will only take a couple of posts really. Beautiful, looking good. Yeah, I think it will only take a couple of posts to get to 100. We've got two hours. Although actually their promotion tasks not work from home assignments, so actually I have until tomorrow. So I can come over here, do a friendly introduction, and then just do a few little mischief interactions. I know you're tired, I know you are. Okay, let's just queue up a few mischief interactions. How far along are we with our mischief skill? Oh, pretty far, 88%. Level three, brilliant. Okay, our energy is getting into like the dark orange now. Let's update our status again. We're like on the cusp of getting everything we need for a promotion. And would you look at that? 105 followers in total. Right, okay, let's go home. We've only been out of the house. We haven't even finished our day's work yet. We've achieved everything. Looks like we probably won't get a promotion though because um, we don't have the star. But you know what? I'm gonna, we really need to get some sleep. So I'm actually just gonna keep the nanny here for a little bit longer just so I can get a few Z's. Our work week has officially ended. We have work in three days. And on that note, I think I'm probably gonna end this video here. This was fun, I actually really enjoyed this. I might play as like, work from home parents more often. Very hands on. I say the only frustration were the things that constantly kept going wrong with this apartment. This would have been a lot smoother, a lot calmer if we lived in like a house or a problem that didn't have TLC or an apartment that didn't have TLC issues. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.